Good morning, good morning, good morning, fam. Happy Wednesday to everybody. Hey, I've missed you guys. I'm back. I'm back from LA. I had a super, super, super fantabulous time. I'm telling you, I think I'm caught up on my sleep, but it it was I was really rocking and rolling moving a mile a minute for the entire time I was there. But I hope you guys are getting excited about Thanksgiving and spending time with friends and family and loved ones. And um, are you okay? Are you okay? Let me tell you something. So we're on our series and on our road to financial freedom. And um, uh, on Sunday, we gave a message about um, uh, God opening your eyes to see what he has for you and I'm telling you I really did get the experience that while I was in LA you talking about if you need something to stimulate you to dream and to stimulate you to think big go visit LA because I'm telling you it's lots of dreamers there but it's also lots of people there who dreamed and accomplished their goals and are living big so um, we just want to stimulate our dream and, and dream, think beyond where we are right now and think like God thinks and thinks what think what he wants to have for our lives not just spiritually emotionally physically uh, mentally but financially too so um I hope that you guys are having a super fantabulous morning. I hope that you're excited about Thanksgiving. I am. I started my cooking last night. I was up at 3 o'clock this morning actually cooking, um, and I'm excited. Um, I'm having my first Friendsgiving here at my house this uh, tomorrow. So um, typically I'll go home for Thanksgiving or family will come here, uh, but I'm having my uh, first Friendsgiving. And so God really has put on my heart to invite specific people who are here in Atlanta, not from Atlanta, like I'm not from Atlanta, who don't have family and who may not be going home to visit their family to come to my house so they can, you know, feel the love of God and get a good meal and uh, have some good fellowship. So I'm really, really excited about uh, my friends that are coming over and I have a few family members that are coming in town as well so uh, anyway how are you doing are you okay listen I know this journey that we're going through in purifying our heart is not the most comfortable but it's gonna be so beautiful and so freeing on the other side so um, did you know that as you give that purifies your heart Giving actually purifies those things out of your heart. So if there's anything that you're struggling with doing, just try giving. Just give something away. How did you do a couple of weeks ago when we said, uh, pray and ask God to uh, tell you what you should give, something tangible that you should give that shows your demonstration um, and your commitment to this journey. So how did you feel when you gave that thing away? You know, when we give to others, you know, that makes us feel good, not just the other person, but it makes us feel good. So that should tell you that, you know, God's thoughts I'm not quite like our our thoughts. It's not about getting, 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 but it's about giving so you can receive. And that's God's principle and how that works. That when you give, it comes back to you. Giving is like a seed that you sow. So um, how are you doing with that? Keep that journey going because it's going to purify your heart. It's going to fill your heart with so much love. As you get those things out of your heart that shouldn't be there, that selfishness, that distrust, those grudges and all of that stuff, you know, it's going to be replaced with more love and so I'm just excited about my own journey even when I was in LA um, I would think a thought or I would say something and immediately God would correct me and I would have to repent right there on the spot and I was like oh Lord I'm so sorry I just judged that person or I would just thought, thought this way and that's not of you so um, I'm excited about my journey too even though I've had a lot of uncomfortable moments so I just want to encourage you to keep going, I want you to encourage and to keep going in your healing process. We are going to get to the practical steps next week. I well, I can't say I promise you because if God tells me to do something different, I got to listen. But we, I'm hoping that we will get to the start getting to the practical steps next week. And I definitely want to talk about Black Friday that's coming up. So uh, anyway, on another video. But anyway, um, just keep going. I'm really, really excited about this journey, and I'm really, really proud of you for what you're doing. You know. So keep going, stay encouraged, and um, this giving process and cleaning out that heart is going to be so, so freeing, and is and probably already is. So just keep going. So um, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, um, I hope that you have a super fantabulous Thanksgiving day, um, and take the time out to uh 
pray and ask God who you should invite. Maybe there's someone who um, gets depressed or sad at this time of the year because they don't have family members. It may be someone that is experiencing their first Thanksgiving without a loved one. And that person may need a little extra love, a little extra encouragement, um, a little extra motivation this year. And um, uh, be that person that gives that to them. You know, call someone maybe that you haven't spoken to in a long time and invite them to Thanksgiving dinner or uh, invite them to come over and fellowship with you and your family. Or... Uh, decide that you're going to cook a meal while you're cooking your meal for your family that you're going to cook some extra for another family. Uh, let's really, really exercise what Thanksgiving is really about. So um, I hope that you have a super fantabulous day and uh, I look forward to uh, talking to you on the next video. And until then, I shall see you on the next video. How about that? Mm -hmm.